this war against cancer, and it is a war, and cancer is terrorizing, has been too focused on this idea of retaliation rather than focused on prevention itself. Cancers are only incurable once they have spread in general, and in the future we need to focus on detecting them before they have spread. The reason polio is no longer such a problem is because we can prevent it. We can prevent it by a vaccine. Once polio occurs, we can no better treat it now than we could a hundred years ago. Paralysis will still ensue. Almost all of the decrease in deaths and suffering from strokes, cardiovascular disease in general, have come from prevention. Preventing high blood pressure, preventing heart attacks with stents, measuring levels of cholesterol and other lipids, and then intervening early in the process before the disease occurs. We know that cancer is caused by a sequential series of mutations in a relatively small number of genes. Mutations are alterations. They change a base called C to a base called A. They're just spelling mistakes, basically. And we know in large part what causes these mutations. But most importantly, we know that cancers don't arise overnight. It takes years, in fact decades, for any common adult cancer, such as that of the colon or the pancreas or the breast, to evolve. And they evolve through these sequential mutations over long periods of time. We have this huge window of opportunity, and I really mean opportunity, to intervene in that process, to detect those tumors early, and to cure them. But the amount of research that is devoted to these sorts of preventions is essentially trivial compared to that devoted to curing advanced cancers. And I think that if we can get our society to appreciate the value and the historical precedent for this kind of research, we can change what we're doing now for the better and eventually be victorious against these horrible diseases.